Hi guys, I'm Shelley, and as requested, welcome to Storytime with Golly Wobbles. I'm going to be reading The Young Girl's Handbook of Good Manners for Use in Educational Establishments by Pierre Louis, translated by Geoffrey Longnecker. For those of you who are of a delicate nature, turn off now. Fair warning. Okay, let us begin. Pierre Louis claimed three vices in his youth white paper, old books, and dark haired women. He engaged in three different vices when deflowering his white paper in his erotic endeavours. Young girls, lesbianism, and scatology. I'm not really sure what that is. His handbook of good manners distinguishes itself as one of the few undisputed erotic classics in which, intentionally, humour takes precedence over arousal. Needless to say, this handbook is not recommended for educational establishments. And on to the advice. In the pantry, when using a banana, be it for your own amusement or to make your chambermaid come, do not put said banana back into the fruit bowl without first carefully drying it off. At the table, do not slide an asparagus in and out of your mouth while looking languidly at the young man you wish to seduce. <coughs> Games and recreations. Do not jump from horseback onto a gentleman for a piggyback ride when you are not wearing fastened panties. If you should be aroused by the ride, you will stain the collar of his frock coat. In class, if the addition problem you are given produces the number 69, do not roll around laughing like a little idiot. When at a ball, if you come while waltzing, say it softly, there's no need to shout. Visiting, when the mistress of the house leans over to kiss you, do not stick your tongue in her mouth. That is not done before witnesses. If you are sitting on the corner of a chair, do not move back and forth, you will get distracted. While at church, when you are next to a lady who is kneeling and arching her back, do not ask her whether this position provokes fond memories. During the sermon, if the preacher seems to believe in the purity of young Christian girls, refrain from giggling. And at a museum, do not scribble black curls on the pubes of the nude Venus. If the artist has represented the goddess without pubic hair, it's because Venus obviously shaved. While on the street, if you want to sleep with a gentleman who is passing by, do not ask him yourself. Have your maid talk to him. While in shops, if you are a little short on pay for your purchase, do not offer sexual favours to the shopkeeper, especially if his wife is nearby. Your duty is towards God. Kneel and say your prayers every evening before masturbating. General advice. Have all the lovers you want, but don't tell the young ones about the old ones, or vice versa. Do not demand the chambermaid to have sex with you more than twice a day. One must not overwork the staff. Do not say, I just came like crazy. Say, I feel a little tired. Do not say, I have 12 dildos in my drawer. Say, I never get bored when I'm alone. Do not say, she's a raging lesbian. Just say, she's flirtatious. And finally, do not say, he's hung like a horse. Say, he's a very accomplished young man. I hope you guys are good and enjoyed this video. Uh, thumbs up if you liked it, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.